Now let's develop a to-do list application from scratch. So this is how our to-do list application is going to look like. You can add projects using this button add project. Suppose you want to add some books to read. You can add it as a new project. You can add tasks. For example, if you want to add a task in personal, you can click personal and then add task and specify the name of the task. Suppose you want to call the plumber, you can specify call the plumber. Okay. If you want to add the books to read in this add task, suppose you want to add wings of fire, you can add it like this. This is a famous book by APG Abdul Kalam. Then again, you want to add another book. Suppose it is the power of positive thinking. You can add it. Okay. And you can also change the order of preference. Suppose you want to do this one first. That is, you want to complete the test case document first before meeting the project manager. You can just move it to the first position. Okay. Similarly, if you want to do the work first then you can just move it like this that is it will be at the first position okay then once you complete a task you can just remove it from the list you just have to click this suppose you have already paid the school fee you can just click here so that it will be removed from the list suppose you have already completed all the books from this section you can delete that project itself Okay, so you can do all these things using our to-do list application. That is, you can add project, you can add task, you can remove a project, you can remove a task and also you can change the order of the tasks and also the order of projects. So we are going to do this to-do list application from scratch and in this we will be using a number of widgets. As you see here, these are tabs widget. These are sortable items. So we are using sortable interaction, tabs widget. Then for adding tasks and adding project, we are using buttons, which are already buttons. But to style it, we are using the button widget. And these are actually dialogues. So in this application, we are going to make use of a number of widgets and interactions we have learned in this course. Now let's design the front end of our to-do list application. So I have already created a web page todo-list.html and I have just added the title to-do list application. So first let me add a div element for styling purpose with id container and within this let me add an h2 element with the heading as to do list then I want to have tabs okay so for that let me add a div element with id projects and within this let me add an unordered list with id main because this is the main titles of our tabs and within this let me add list items so li a href equals let me specify personal and work as of now so hash personal and within this let the title be personal okay and similarly i need for work as well so personal and then for this let the href be work and the text be work itself okay and then i want to have the content corresponding to each tab right so for the personal tab and the work tab I need to have content and as you saw here these are sortable and they are also ordered items so how I can do that after this unordered list I can specify ol with id personal this is for the personal section and within this I need to add the tasks in fact so as you see here I have added check boxes for each item and we will be implementing the removal of that particular task on the click of this checkbox. That is when I click on a checkbox, that item is getting removed from the to-do list, right? 
So within this li, what I want? I want first a checkbox. So input type checkbox. And then I want to specify the task. So what are the tasks here? Okay, let me refresh. And doctor appointment and pay school fees. So I can write the same or different ones. For the time being, let me write doctor appointment. Call the plumber. Okay, so let me copy this. Paste it here. And change this to call the plumber. Similarly, I want for this work as well. So let me copy this ordered list. Okay, paste it here. Change this to work. And instead of doctor appointment, let me write complete test case document. Anything related to your work and meet project manager. And let me have one more. So let me copy this, paste it here and write record jQuery video. So these are the works I want to complete. Now what we have done, we have added a div element with ID projects and added the unordered list that are the title of the tab and then we have added the corresponding content. Next what we want to do, we want to make this projects a tab. So how we can do that? We can access it like dollar hash projects that is the id and i just have to specify tabs so that this will become a tabs widget next what i want to do i want to make these tabs that is these items as well as these tasks sortable right so i want to make ul as well as ol elements sortable and for this ul element we can specify the axis as x that is these tabs should be allowed to move only in the x direction right so i can specify x otherwise it will be allowed to move also like this if we just specify sortable similarly these items should be moved only in the y direction they should not be moved like this they should move only in the y direction so what i can do here i can specify dollar ul which means the tabs titles dot sortable and i can specify as axis x which means they will move only in the x direction and also i can specify the containment i think so that it will not move outside this projects so hash projects similarly let me copy this paste it here and this is for ordered list which means the tasks and for that, the axis should be Y, containment, same itself. Okay, now let's see how it appears. It will not appear as we expect because we haven't styled them. Still, let's see. See, they are appearing like this. This is personal and I'll be able to move these items and I'll be able to move these items and I also will be able to move these items. Okay. And we need to style this items a bit so that this will be centered. Then we can adjust the width of the tabs widget and all. So we are going to style that next. So what should I do? I need to add the style tag. First, let me style the container div. So hash container. Let me specify the width to be say 700 px. Height to be 450 px. And I want to center this. So margin, let me specify, say, 70 px auto. Okay. So let's see that now. Let me refresh. See, now it is appearing like this. And I want to add some border to this. Okay. So let me add it. Border 2px solid. And I want to have the border in this green color. That is this shade of green. And I have already found the RGB value for this using another application I have developed as part of one of my other courses. Okay, so that value is RGB 125, 181, 66. That is a value of the particular green shade. So let's see that. See, we are seeing a green border, right? Next, I want to change this color also to this green. And also I want to center it. So how I can do that? 
I can specify H2 and its color to the same value. So let me copy this. Then I also want to align it to center. See, it is now aligned to center. Next, what we want to do, we want to adjust the width of this tab widget. So how we can do that? We can access it using its ID that is projects. So here, hash projects and set its width to be 650 px, height to be say 250 px, then margin 0 px auto so that it will be centered. Refresh, see now they are appearing like this. Next what I want to do, I want to have some border for these list items and now the user will not be able to know that these items are sortable right so we can first add some border to this and change the cursor to pointer so that when the person moves the mouse over it the cursor will look like a pointer which will give a hint that it is movable and we can also change the background color on the hover so how we can do that we can access it like o l l i that is the li within ol for that i can specify border to be 1px dotted black okay and cursor to be pointer then we can specify a padding so that there will be a gap between the text and the border let's see that now save refresh see it will be better if there is a gap between these two right so we can use the margin bottom property for that so margin bottom and let the value be 5px so that there will be a gap between the tasks refresh see there is a gap now and what I want to do when I move the mouse over the item I want to change the background color so let us use this color for the time being that is when I move the mouse over the task the background color of this will be changed to this so I have also collected this colors value so we can specify it on the hover right so O L L I hover that is only when the hover happens I want to change the background color and the value is this hash 6 E B 7 D 6 let's see that now let me refresh let me move the mouse see I am able to change the order also here if I want to change the order I can do that and here also I can change the order of the items that is order of the projects now we are almost ready with the front end part next what we want to do we want to actually implement the functionality that is we want to have an add project button here and when we click add project it should display a window that allows the user to enter the name of the project and that project should be added here and there should be a button here to allow the user to enter a task or to add a new task and that added task should appear in the particular project and when the user clicks this checkbox that particular item should be removed from the list and there should be a close icon here as well as you saw here and when you click on that close icon that particular project should be removed from the list so we have to implement all these and we are going to do it in the next lecture